Welcome to the Caribe Royale, home of the award-winning fine dining restaurant, The Venetian Room. We're pleased to be part of the Signature Chefs of Orlando podcast series. Our chef de cuisine, Khalid Bengalam, has twice been named one of the top 20 chefs in Central Florida. Today, he'll be demonstrating a few of our dessert recipes. We hope you enjoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Signature Chefs of Orlando podcast. My name is Khalid Bengalam. I'm the chef de cuisine at the Caribe Royale all sweet uh, hotel. Today we're gonna be sharing with you um, one of our recipes, well, a few recipes in, uh, from our pastry shop. From you can tell, we got a lot of uh, stuff that we presented here for you that our chef uh, Patrick and Michelle been uh, doing for us here. Today we're gonna do something really, really simple that anybody can make at home. We're gonna do uh, this uh, eclair, and we're gonna do profit roll, First thing first, we're going to start with uh, the base, which is patashu. And patashu, what it is exactly, is a mixture of water and milk. All the recipes, they're going to be posted in our website, thevenetianroom.com. You can either use either or. Uh, I mean milk or just water we use 50-50 the reason being so if we use only milk it's going to be very dark if you're using only uh, water it's going to be a little bit light so we go 50-50 so it gives us a nice golden brown color we're going to do a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt okay we're going to add our butter. We're going to make sure they use a wooden spoon to mix. We're going to have it melt in. Then we're going to have to add our flour to it. Patashu is very intricate, so you got to be very careful when you add your flour. You're going to add your flour all in one shot, reason being so you won't have a lot of lumps into it. So try to bring it to a boil. Then we're going to add our flour. We said all in one shot. Then, of course, we're going to mix it. It may look lumpy, but just we wait a couple of minutes where the liquid gets into it, and it's going to be all good. Okay. Then after that, what we're going to do is transfer the whole thing into our mixture. Then we're going to add the eggs one by one. See, you can see it's getting a little bit thicker. And the lumps are starting disappearing. So th this, this uh, patashu, actually, you can do a lot of all uh, stuff with it. You can do like uh, cakes that we call pari brass. Uh, you got... Uh, the profit rolls, you got patashu, you got les eclair, and also you can do some savory items with it. You can add it to potatoes and you can pipe it. All right, it's about almost ready here. Then we're gonna add it into our mixer. You gotta be very careful with the mixer. Mix it. So you can see it already getting a little bit thicker. We want it to be like a small ball. There you go. See the flour, when you see it boiling like this, it means that it's cooked. See how it gets? 
it's sticking out of the pan, so it means that it's ready. Beautiful. So this is our step one. This is good to go. We're going to let it cool down a little bit before we add our eggs. Otherwise, you're going to have scrambled eggs with the flour. All right. It's pretty simple and easy to make. I just try to whisk it, give it a little bit of, cools down a little bit. It's very important that you add your eggs just one by one. Otherwise, if you put the whole thing, the whole mixture is going to break on you, okay? See all the steam is coming out. Okay. Again, the recipes are going to be on our website, thevenetianroom.com. almost done. It's two cups actually worth of eggs. Just get rid of this. <clears throat> Some stuff that I already got here. Four more eggs and we're good to go. This is ready. Gotta be very careful with this. You don't wanna have a lot of create a mess. Okay. This is now we're gonna fill up our piping bag. Pretty easy. I like to put my 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 hand in the bottom of it, and you can just fill them up and scrape with your finger. So. Okay, we have two piping bags here. Still a little warm. So this one is solid, it's for the Zeclair. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of air in here. Usually we let it cool down a little bit. And you can play with the size, either big or small. Then we're gonna transfer them to the oven, 400 degrees, for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna roll them over for an extra five minutes just to dry them up 
at 325 degrees. So this one, the solid one, we're going to use it for the pro, uh, les éclairs. And this one, we're going to use it for profit roll. I forgot to tell you to make sure to use bread flour. Reason being, it has a lot of protein, and it will dry up your your profit roll slash eclair. So, okay, this is for the eclair. See if when it's cold, it's a lot easier. But we got some already done that we're gonna pop in the oven in a minute. So, all right. So we're going to go with this into the oven, 325, then we're going to get the final product after that. 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes, we're going to turn it down into 325 for an extra five. See you guys in 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, then another five. We pull them out, we're gonna pull them out. See, they look nice, puffy, golden brown, and dry from the inside. It's very important for them to be dry. Okay, so this is the final product. We got a Zeclair here, and we got a profit roll. Our next recipe is gonna be the stuffing for these. So we're, doing, we're gonna do a pastry cream, then we're gonna do a ganache for, for the, for, the glaçage of our eclair and profit roll. So see you in the next uh, recipe.